Guys, this is a lot of bread. Who cares? It's, I was gonna say it's cheat day, but it's not. No, it's not. <laughs> Welcome to the very first episode of my brand new cooking show. It's called What the Flavor. And if you've always wanted to learn how to make fun, easy, delicious, trendy internet foods, you've come to the right place because every single week, I'm gonna be teaching you something, hopefully, with an expert. And I couldn't have thought of a better expert to bring in to christen my very first episode than the one and the only Lily Marston. I don't know if expert's totally the right term, but enthusiast is correct for deep frying. And I think you're gonna show these people how to rock their world with deep frying. Rock their world? Thank yeah. you for the optimism. P.S. I would like to thank you for outfitting me in this matching apron, nonetheless. Listen, if we were gonna go big on this first episode, this is how we were gonna do it, matching. I just feel so domestic. This is very unusual for me. Yeah, same. Time to plug it in. This is an easy fryer because there's no controls on it. You just plug it in and it only has one temperature. I ordered this because this is Lily's deep fryer of choice, by the way. It's called the Fry Daddy. So, and it has a magnetic plug that doesn't always stay plugged in, <laughs> but you know, safety. We had to up our fry game today because you're here, so I decided uh -huh. that we're going to fry not one, not two, but three desserts. Desserts? Mm -hmm. Usually I only fry cheese, because I'm very classy, and I also usually only use crescent rolls, because then you don't have to make your own batter. That's very smart. Are we making our own batter today? Yes. I'm not going to be an expert. <laughs> but it's not gonna be that hard, actually. I Googled it and practiced it. It's very easy. Cool. So for our very first dessert, I have chosen very wisely, by the way. Ooh. Deep fried chocolate chip cookie dough balls. I've never deep fried cookie dough, but that sounds like it will be gooey and amazing. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna make our batter right now. It's really easy. It's two cups of Bisquick, one cup of milk, and two eggs. I think we could do that. That's an I easy so recipe too. to follow. I just like, cap. <laughs> This is the expert at work. <laughs> oh God. Honestly though, this is Why really am I holding that with my non-dominant hand? <laughs> you better be following along, you guys. Don't want to miss any of these great tips. <laughs> One. Yep. Our balls are sweating over here, so they're getting primed for I'm sweating. Hot oil. It's warm in here. <laughs> Perfect. Kay. Two cups. Done. Easy. I'm gonna add the milk and the two eggs. I feel like you must get a lot of eggshells in your No, eggs. that's a really Neat trick, actually. You so many get times. less shell if you slam it on the table. I'm serious. Try it. Okay, I think our batter is pretty good. It does look a little liquidy. Should we add some more biscuit? I think the we mix? should. You're the chef here. Sometimes you just have to go with what you feel, you guys. This is very liquidy batter, and then it's just gonna get everywhere in the deep fryer. The crescent roll really holds its shape. Funny, you should mention a crescent roll, which I like to call croissant rolls. That's not what they're called. Whatever. We'll get to crescent rolls later. In oh, the you show. got them. Just for you. Well, you're gonna learn how much easier it is to handle those <laughs> than just like liquid that you put into like scalding oil. So I think we just take one. These are some sweaty balls. No one can resist my sweaty balls. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna just dump it in and roll it around. Do we have the little basket? Yeah, I do that have a basket. Be better, she was just rolling around on the ground, but that's okay. <laughs> I'm going to also reveal right now that I definitely did not wash my hands before this, so glad we're the only ones eating it. And now I'm just like literally like playing in the batter. Oh, why? It's this okay. Nope. It's probably that. stuck to the bottom though because oh. if you have a batter, you get stuck in the. Yep. There we go. Also, we don't need to cook that that much because. The batter's pretty thin, and the cookie dough, you want to be gooey. You don't want it to be like a cooked cookie. Such a good tip. Oh, yeah. you're doing two balls at once. We are. Tag yeah. teaming. That was beautiful. It was a good technique, thank you. <laughs> Those are some pretty balls. <laughs> they are pretty balls, and I think balls generally, you have to really nail them. How many we are we did. making? <laughs> Does everyone else in the room want them? Do you care that I didn't wash my hands first? No, when you fry it, you kill all the germs. True, That's a true, fun right? Fact. It's More a fun fact. for you guys. Despite this experience already, the reason I do deep fry things a lot is because it's usually really easy and clean. Really? Yeah. Oh. Don't be impressed. More is more. Haven't you ever eaten a beignet? Oh, I love beignet <laughs> and a funnel so cake. it's so much that you're almost like coughing because it's like a cloud of powder. <laughs> and then we do a little drizz. Oh. Look at that. Look at that. That's like a $15 dessert right there. Do we eat them now? We can't eat them now. We can, yes. Yes. You worked hard. You should have the first we bite. We waited too long. They're probably cold. <laughs> <laughs> Let me know when I can eat it. There you go. Oh. Sorry. It's just a little pillow of squishy oh, deliciousness. It's like volcanically erupting out of the bottom. Just how I like my cookies. 
Mm, it's so good. Okay, I think we we should share. The crew is looking at us like they hate us. Only because we You're have welcome. two more things that we're making. Otherwise, I wouldn't have been okay with that decision. <laughs> Our next dessert. That's cake batter. That's cake confetti batter. cake batter, mm -hmm. specifically. And what I love about this recipe is it literally is following the directions on the Funfetti box, just adding a cup of flour to it. I think we have to do small pieces because otherwise it won't cook all the way through. And I feel like cake batter is not something you can eat a lot of uncooked. Says who? I've had bad experience. I'm just gonna use this little ice cream scooper. So do I just lay it in there? I guess. This is really a trial and error situation. It really likes Did it. Did you refrigerate this? Yes. Okay, so it's been chilled a little bit too, you guys. Oh, look at that. Oh, that is hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little uh, nervous it's gonna be a little doughy. That's how I like it though. So you want me to do a, a smaller dollop? <laughs> I feel like we need to test this one before we continue. I think we can keep going. But I'm the expert, Erin. You need to listen to what I say, because I clearly know everything. You're like, Babysitter who's like just <laughs> a little bit older than me. Look at that. Look at that. Why don't you just look out. at it? We're gonna get salmonella. That's really good. It's also not as sweet as I thought it would be. I just don't know what the proper, like, I feel like we need like one of those pancake dispensers. <gasps> We should make a funnel cake. In what world do we know how to make a funnel cake? In this world. We're about I'm not a funnel cake expert. <laughs> we're about to nail this. You guys get ready. You're not ready. You're not ready for this. Yes, is this actually what funnel cake is? Like, we're just making. That is yes. what we're doing. Funnel already. cake is fried dough, and that's what we have. Do you have some scissors for me? Apparently. From 1922. Oh, like a frosting thing. I don't act like you know. <laughs> Let's just try. Okay, that's good. I think that's we put good. it in. No, nope, that's put good. That's good. That's stop. I think it's gonna work. William, so happy. <laughs> Why does this okay. make me so happy? I don't know. Okay. I have these two. I can help. Ooh, those would probably be better. Okay, I think this is beautiful. I think it's time. I think it's time. Okay, well it's broken in half, but okay, we're close. Okay, we're so close. Okay. We're we're trying. It's no, close. no, it's not. No, it's not. It's, it's okay. all falling apart. We ruined everything. That's why I'm not a chef. We haven't really. Can't take the pressure. You can add frosting and sprinkles in a little cup like this, and you've got a dipping sauce. So frosting. <laughs> we have a utensil that's not for serving. We just dip it. Otherwise, I'm, I'm willing to use these, but. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Okay. <laughs> really good. Am I like emotional, I guess? Yes! Like I would so much just prefer normal cake. You know what I think it is? I think it's too cooked. I think you want a little gooey. All right, Lils. I know I've put you through a lot of tests so far. You've passed so far. Tests or were we, I thought we were showcasing my skills as an expert. <laughs> That's what I meant. <laughs> but now I'm gonna put you in your lane, the place that you're most comfortable in your comfort zone. Are you ready? My bed. <laughs> <laughs> Until then, we're gonna make crescent rolls. Croissant rolled ice cream bowls. But they're croissant, they're French. French make croissants, and they've made an American version a of crescent croissants. crescent is a shape. Have you seen a crescent moon? But just because <laughs> something is a crescent moon shape, you don't call it a crescent. These people do. <laughs> Let us know in the comments. That's not how you spell croissant. Listen, if you say it with an accent, croissant. I know that you've rolled ice cream in croissant rolls. I have, and it, then deep fried it. So <laughs> I decided we would do that, but maybe one notch higher. What kind of notch? So I have rolled ice cream into different kinds of cereals. We have Cinnamon Toast Crunch, Captain Crunch, and Fruity Pebbles. Okay. And I want you to do your magic and roll them up in croissant rolls and deep fry them. Okay. I like to go. Same. <laughs> the key with crescent rolls is that you have to usually bake them for like, I think like over 10 minutes. Yeah. It's like 10 sure. to 15 minutes. It needs to be much thinner than this, otherwise deep frying it, it's not gonna cook it all the way through. Good to know. So, straight out of the fridge, I usually just will hold them over this for a sec. What a warm tip. them up and it just stretches it out a little more. What an expert insight. I know. So when I usually do it with like cheese, I'll put it like a little piece of cheese, you fold it over and you flatten it out a lot. Ice cream's gonna be a little more complicated and you can't have it seep out. You need to like cover it all with this because if it seeps out, then it's just all the ice cream will like go away. Yeah, because it's like an escape route. Exactly. <laughs> we don't want anyone to escape our foul. Sure. So I'm just gonna start wrapping this up and there's no really perfect way to do this and it's gonna be kind of messy. You just need to make sure you close the edges. Okay. When they get a little wet from the ice cream, it's easier to do it. Okay. That looks more like a wonton. 
I know, and it is melting a little bit. I won't say I'm an expert in deep frying ice cream, but this has worked for me before, okay. so I think we're just gonna try it. I believe in you. Hope for the best. Sounds pretty good. Ice cream usually will make it potentially splatter a little more, but it looks good. It didn't stick to the bottom. Wow, it's really expanding. And with ice cream, you don't want the inside to cook that much because you still want it to be like ice cream, otherwise it's just gonna be like non-existent again. But you do need to cook it long enough that the outside will cook, otherwise you get crescent roll dough, which is not- Not what you want for it's dessert. It's not like cookie dough. Why did you put it back? Oh! You should just try it. Mm. Oh my God. The fruity pebbles. I don't know what it is. It's like magical. <laughs> I only ate frosted flakes as a kid, so maybe that's it what it is. It tastes like fruity pebble flavored ice cream. Oh my God, that is so good, you guys. Okay, Lils, I have an idea. What? I'm gonna take this all up to the next level. How? I'm gonna flatten out the cookie dough, wrap it around the ice cream, dip it in funfetti. And then, to finish, We'll snuggle. Sounds like a heart attack, but let's do it. Yeah! <laughs> Just put it in. Well, help. How, how could I? Okay. Well, it's happening. coming up that was not happening before? It's happening. It, something is happening. I think it's gonna work. Well, ice cream's on the inside and we don't really need to cook anything else that much, so I feel like once it's brown, we're probably good. This is really heavy. Like, I, oh. <laughs> there we go, I'm here for you. Doesn't it kind of look like a weird piece of fried chicken? Yeah. It doesn't look bad. It, well, it I mean, it doesn't like... look great. All right, you guys. That's really good. <laughs> so, uh, hot. That's really good, you guys. It's pretty good. I but. thought this episode was amazing. I learned so much. I'm just so glad that I could come and share all my expert tips with you. I am too. <laughs> Thank you for watching this. Please subscribe to this channel. We're gonna be here every Friday. With experts like me. With lots of <laughs> experts teaching you lots of fun things. Really though, there will be people that know what they're doing. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. And <laughs> Um, let us know in the comments if you have any ideas for what we should do for future shows. Love you all. Thanks for watching. Bye. Bye. What was that bye? Bye. I was like drowning in cookie dough. Click left to watch us eat all the amazing food at Coachella. Or click right to watch us get transformed into drag queens.